Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Danny Alvarez, Alvarez Jitsu, Huntington, Texas. Um, just coming at you with some uh, some fire today, some some more mental vitamins. Just got done with a great jiu-jitsu class, putting some work on the mats with my students, and then just uh, knocked out some strength and conditioning in the room over here um, on the other side of this door. But you know, like I said, I listen to this mental vitamin stuff. You know, these motivational things all the time why I work out and uh, you know it just depends what's playing I hit different videos and then they'll just you know YouTube kind of does their thing and they kind of recommend things or it'll go into another video that's kind of similar to what I'm listening to and I've heard this video like numerous times just like most of them because I listen to this stuff all the time right so it's the one about um, where Eric Thomas is kind of explaining Buster Douglas' story back in 1990 when he knocked out Mike Tyson. So I think I was probably like 14 years old or something like that, whatever. But um, not here to debate the long-standing 10 count that Buster Douglas got that some people say he got or whatever. You know, there's a lot of other scenarios. But point is, um, we can debate that stuff all day. Stuff happens, right? Point is, the guy got back up. No one's gotten back up and getting knocked down like that. Everyone thought Mike Tyson was going to run through the guy. Um, apparently, uh, Buster Douglas, is, you know, his wife left him. His mother passed away uh, a couple weeks prior. Uh, you know, and all friends of family, of course, at that time, just probably thought, like, you know, he's just going to go get some money, get paid, and be just one of those things because Mike Tyson was just smashing, just running through everyone, right? So anyways, he's going through all these things. Eighth round, he catches an uppercut gets knocked down stands up before the 10 count keeps fighting and comes back in the 10th round catches mike tyson puts tyson back down puts tyson on the mat and that was it you know put him down and then you know they're talking about the interviews afterwards and and you know what what made him get back up and all this other stuff and he's talking about his mom and his mother passing and just you know where some people could have just laid down you know just took the loss took the l and then get paid you know the guy got back up and kept fighting and and um you know worked out in his favor and um you know uh you know the rest is history after that right the rest is history so it's just one of those things where you know kind of stuff i'm going through or just anyone out there that's going through anything you know you gotta get back up you gotta keep fighting backs against the ropes um you know gotta put those dukes up and just keep working and that's it you know uh, you know, we can lay down on the canvas, you know, like some people do and uh, give up and give everyone an excuse why uh, we lost, why we're not uh, fighting back, why we're just kind of giving up on life, why we're not doing the things that we know we can be doing. Or, you know, I, you know, you can use stories like this, use anything. But this is just something that like I said during my entire workout, I just went back in between each set and just replayed it over and over and over again just kept rewinding it just let that same clip that same story just replay over and over again for about 45 minutes to an hour um and uh you know it helped you know it helped my workout um help with the way i'm thinking you know um whatever again not going through you know going through quite a bit this right now you know or whatever and you know you can use anyone's story you know anyone's uh moment where they got back up and kept fighting to kind of help you keep fighting you know whether it be this what i'm sharing with you or anything else um you know that you get from someone else however you do it just do it right just your back's against the ropes life's got you pinned up got you in the corner you're ready to go down maybe you did go down but then you can just kind of you know do like buster douglas get back up throw some more punches see what happens get back in the fight you never know. Maybe you get done, knocked down again, and then maybe, you know, you get the knockout like Buster Douglas, you know. So, um, you know, just kind of wanted to share that because it was just, like I said, it just helped me push through my workout. You know, maybe you're not going through uh, anything right now, so maybe you can come back, replay it later. But if you are going through anything right now that's kind of tough, then use this as, a, as an opportunity to just, uh, you know, get your mind right, get back in the fight, do the things that you know, you know you're supposed to be doing. Again, I'm big on eating right, working out, runs, training jujitsu, you know, all that stuff helps. And then just, you know, get back in the game and get back in the fight like you're supposed to, you know. So anyways, caught some good fire today. Wanted to share that with you. Just wanted to drop a quick 
quick uh, mental vitamins in your ear. And, um, you know, I'll catch up with you guys next time. Back, life got you against the ropes. Put them dukes up. Keep fighting. All right, catch you next time.